Hello and welcome back to the uh, discontinuities video. Now, I'm sorry I got cut off. I got a low battery warning last time, so um, I'll just continue from where I left off and just define discontinuities, and then I uh, then I stopped. So it's just anywhere the f of x is not consistent. Graphs that are like that, like that, those don't have any discontinuities just because they're consistent throughout all of the x values. So uh, basically, there are three kinds of discontinuities. Number one is a whole or a point discontinuity. Number two is an asymptote. And number three is a jump. And jumps will only occur on uh, piecewise functions or the step function where it's like you round down and then you round up, but don't worry about that. Uh, so what defines discontinuity? Number one, the limit as x approaches some number exists. Actually, this is where it is continuous. Uh, 2, f of c exists. And 3, those values are, oops, excuse me, those values are equal. So, I'm going to give you an example. So let's say we had a uh, piecewise function, f of x equals. So let's say this is negative 4 less than x is less than negative 2. This is negative 2 less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 0. And 0 is less than x is less than or equal to 4. Uh, we'll make this 4. Uh, we'll make this we'll make this negative 2x. And then we're going to make this right here, uh, 0. So we want to find if it's continuous. We know it's continuous through these values right here because there's nothing to break it up. There's no piecewise function here. So the only possible break would be at negative 2 because that's where the function shifts. Or it could be at 0 because that's where the function shifts as well. So the graph would look something like you know, it'd be a line and then negative 2x to go like down and then be like a line. But we don't know if there's a jump somewhere or a hole or an asymptote or something or whatever. So the way to test for this, remember we had limit as x approaches c exists. In this case, c is going to be this value right here. So what does the limit as x approaches negative 2 exist? Well, at 4, the function exists. At negative 4, okay, that exists. Okay, so second one, f of c exists. And just a reminder, we're checking for negative 2. If we plug in negative 2, right there, it says equal to negative 2. So that exists. Now the only question, are they equal? Well, the limit as x approaches negative 2, well, from the left side, that's going to be 4, because it's less than. So that's going to be from the left side here. And from the right side, that's going to be negative 2 times negative 2, which is also 4. So that's that point right here, and that exists. So those things are equal because 4 equals 4. You know, we just check from the left side, we check from the right side. Are those equal? Yes. So th is that equal to f of c? Yes. So that's all that asks. Um, that's basically all for... Uh, discontinuities. I know it's a little confusing, but uh, I think I think it's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, just ask me if you have any questions. I know it's a little confusing. So uh, thanks for watching.